What'd you do to Miko? What'd you do to my dog? Oh, okay, 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 okay. So you're a tough one, huh? She be gaming. It's me. I'm back. We're back with Marcus at the Bard's College. We're going to continue his journey on helping some of the professors here at the college and solidifying his role as a true bard. And I think this is somebody that we can talk to. I think. Ing? Ing? I think it's Ing Six Fingers. Pretty sure she's one of the professors we can talk to and get another quest from. And just as a quick reminder, if you've been enjoying the Bard's College miniseries so far, don't forget just to give these videos a quick little thumbs up. Let's me know that you're enjoying it and having a good time. And also, if you're back again to join me and you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe as well. All right, so let's speak to Inga Six Fingers. See if she's our next quest giver. It makes me sad whenever I think about it. Makes you sad? Why are you sad? Hmm. Oh, sorry. My mind wandered. Yes, sometimes. she is. I was just thinking about Finn's, Finn's loot. loot. Over a year ago, thieves broke into the college and made off with a lot of valuable things, mostly really? gold and silver. But they also stole Finn's loot. We just learned where the bandits fled to, and I very much want that loot back. Bandits? Okay. Hopefully, I mean, it sounds like this quest might be a little bit easier than the last one. Marcus is slash was a bandit, so he kind of knows how to handle bandits. What's so important about this loot? Finn was the bard who invented the eight-course loot that is commonplace today. Oh. Until he found a way to string the extra courses, bards only had six-course loots. Okay. The loot they stole is Finn's original eight-course loot. I doubt they even realize its true value. That distraction's over. You are so rude. I don't understand these professors. <laughs> We're, we're doing them a favor. We're, we're, we're doing all these quests. Marcus is risking his lives for these people. And they're so rude. Okay, let's just take a quick look at this quest. Find Finn's loot. Let's see where it is on the map. Stony Creek Cave. All right. How far is that from where we are in solitude? Here. And we are going... Oh my gosh, it's quite the distance, isn't it? They're sending us all over the map! Luckily, it looks like we've already discovered some locations close by. So that helps a lot. We're definitely going to fast travel. Um, we're going to fast travel here. Cornvanger Cave. Alright, well, Sven looks like he's ready to go. So we'll hit it, I guess. Actually, before Marcus does go looking for Finn's loot, he's ready to purchase one of these magic loots. They all cost the same, except for this one, the gold loot. But the blessed loot and the hissed bark loot, they both cost the same. We're also going to need to get a loot pick in order to get this to work. So let's just take a quick look at their enchantments. So the Blessed Loot will summon a Guardian Circle when a song is played while equipped. Or the Hissed Bark Loot will summon a Whirlwind Cloak when a song is played while equipped. So this one sounds really interesting to Marcus. And he's going to get it. Okay, we don't have enough money to <laughs> buy a loot pick. So let's see if we can sell her a few things she'd be willing to buy this so we'll sell her that we'll sell her this rope too we'll sell her this spell tome and it looks like she's interested in a few of our books okay we definitely have enough money now for a loot pick so let's get one of those okay so if we take a look at our student guide I think it talks a little bit about how we can use these loots. And so I just want to take another look to make sure we remember how to do this. All right, here we go. Exclusive Merchant Inventory. The Bard's College affords its students 
special access to an exclusive market of bardic paraphernalia and artifacts through our in-house representative of the Art Society of Tamriel, Falerva. Okay, Loot Mastery. The college had recently come into study of the ancient art of enchanted looting. This lost style of playing the loot is powerful and deeply intriguing to our professors and constituents. Loot mastery, as we have come to call it, can only be performed using specialized enchanted loots made from magical materials and imbued with forgotten magics in eras long past. These loots can be bought from Falerva and will not work unless a loot pick also sold by Falerva is also equipped. So far, we only know that the loot mastery augments normal bardic magic songs when they are performed while the loot and a pick is equipped. There is only one known song that has so far been discovered and understood as effective on the enchanted loot. Lutus' Flare, which only has an effect that lasts for a few seconds, but could turn the tide of battle if used strategically. Students are welcome to our research and are free to conduct their own studies into this ancient art at their author station. Perhaps you can grow this field of study more than we've been able to so far. A noted disadvantage to using enchanted loot in battle for their powerful effects is that they slow the wearer down tremendously due to their unusual weight and uncomfortable but necessary position on a warrior's on a warrior's body. Oh, okay, well, that's good to know. So we really only want to use it when necessary. Marcus is going to take Miko with him on this quest as well because Miko might actually come in handy when it comes to taking out a few bandits. You ready, boy? Let's go. Plus, Miko's been kind of sitting outside the Bard's College for a little while now. He's probably bored. All right, Marcus is carrying just a little too much. Wants to make sure he has some free space to be able to pick up whatever treasures he might find in the cave. So he's going to sell a few weapons to the local blacksmith and then he'll hit the road. Okay. Marcus and Sven have fast traveled to just get a little bit closer to their destination. And we've placed a marker so that we have direction in terms of where we're going. Let's see if we can take a little shortcut. Without running into too much trouble, hopefully. We'll see, I guess. Looks like we're in some kind of marshes or something. Definitely should keep ourselves alert here. Miko's pretty good at spotting things early, so... He'll probably alert us if something's coming our way. So the last mission that Marcus was on... Unfortunately, he had no luck in finding any bardic inspiration. Hopefully this time things go a little bit better for him. Because he really needs some bardic inspiration. He really does. He needs to get to writing some more songs. What a horrible place. The smell here is disgusting. Oh, there's a bear. There's a bear. Where is it? We might actually want to try to kill this bear. It might have some bardic inspiration on it. He's going to get his shield ready for sure. Okay, here it comes. Let's see. See if we can take it out. Nice. Oh man, zero inspiration. Marcus isn't gonna get too discouraged yet. I mean, the night is still young with a lot more adventure still ahead. What in the world? Oh, you snuck up on us. This mage came out of nowhere. Ben, control that swing. We should be getting close. Like, really close. 
He's wondering if he's going to know any of these bandits. Time will tell, I guess. Okay, what's the fastest way for us to get to this cave? Can we cut through? Oh yeah, I think we can go through here. Perfect. He's coming up real close to our destination. Now, it's very possible that these bandits might be aware of the bounty that Marcus's former bandit leader has out on him right now. So they might be even more aggressive than normal because there could be a paycheck attached to bringing Marcus in alive. Stony Creek Cave discovered. All right, well, here goes. Oh, jeez. Obviously, the bandits that were making their way into claiming this space for their own. The only thing with bringing Miko along is he kind of blows your cover, doesn't he? I don't think I like where this is going. Just stay close, Sven, and everything will be all right. Be careful. Trying to keep a lookout for traps. Definitely some bandits coming our way. Here we go. Gotta get past this orc first. That's it. That's all you got. Okay, Sven. Take care of him while I get the archer. Let's just go check in on Sven. There we go. There we go. Back it up! Let's not forget, Marcus was pretty high up in rank in his bandit group. He knows a thing or two about taking out bandits. Alright. Let's just go make sure all the areas are clear. Bag of gold here. 20 gold. We'll take it. Oh, secret passageway here, huh? Looks like exactly where we need to be as well. We that? see this trap. Okay, okay, she's a mage. Uh huh. Yep. Oh. It's all right. It's all right. Just a scratch. Heal up a little bit. What she do to Miko? Ah, oh, she froze us. What'd you do to Miko? What'd you do to my dog? What'd you do to my dog, huh? What'd you do to my dog? Oh, she's healing herself. She's healing herself. Oh, okay. 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 So you're a tough one, huh? Seems like every cave we go into, there are ice mages. We'll just calm her down a little bit. Yeah, calm yourself down. Finn's loot, we got it. <gasps> and we got some bardic inspiration! Finally! Yes! 15 of them too, that's a lot! What else we got, what else we got? Oh, one of these? <laughs> got some fire salts here too? What else do we have down here? Got some books. Lingering poison, okay. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can take her out now. Oh man, she's tough, eh? Well, we got her. I think we got her. I think we got her. Victory is yours. Yeah, it is ours. Oh, Sven almost went down. Sven almost went down right there. Does she have anything good on her? Treasure map. Ooh, staff of familiar. At least now Marcus knows that word about where he was last seen won't be getting back to his former bandit leader. So that's a good thing. All right, let's just go see what's up this way. There are a few more bandit ahead. 
Might as well finish the job. Okay, okay, there's a few of you. No! There's another Frost Mage in here too, it looks like. Try to get this person first. Get them first. You're gone. Problem solved. The rest should be fairly easy. Oh, what's he doing to Sven? What kind of spell did he cast on Sven? Oh, the Bandit Chief. It's the Bandit Chief. I'm not afraid of any chief. He has a spell casted on him for sure. Okay, let's see what these bandits got. Oh, they got some good stuff. What bow is this? Ruin's Edge? Randomly applies one of these effects to the target. Frost? Demoralize? Frenzy? Drain magic? Or paralyze? Oh, this bow was wicked. You don't know what you're gonna get with that bow. Oh, we almost missed this chest over here. Easy peasy. Potion of stamina and scroll of call to arms. Okay, we'll take that. Oh, sweet, there's a pickaxe here. Marcus doesn't have one yet. We can mine some of this moonstone ore. We can take this and sell this ore to the blacksmith back in solitude. What do we got here? Bliss bug in a jar? Oh, this just looks cool. Let's take it. Looks like they've cleared out the cave. So they're gonna start making their way back to the Bard's College, deliver Finn's loot, and then I think there's one final quest to complete for one of the teachers. I'm Dean of Loot at the Bard's College, and no, I don't give private lessons. What? You did? Oh, sweet divines, you did. There is no way I can pay you what this loot is worth, but I can teach you a few tricks I've learned over the years. We're done so she's now. teaching Good. us. Okay, I mean, what she's teaching us can come in handy, I guess, for a thief. We're a bard. Why does she know how to pickpocket and sneak and all that stuff anyway? She's a bard. Oh, starting to get a better idea why she's called Six Fingers. Well, all Marcus wants to do right now is go and write some music. Let's go see what new songs he's added to his repertoire. I actually completely forgot he has all these loot mastery spells that he can craft too. So we got to keep that in How mind. Your students coming along? And the next quest he goes on, he's really going to have to do some digging around to find as not. much bardic Raising inspiration as possible and we got to get some burned books too but for now yes, he can write the blood of mine enemy so let's go ahead and write that and the shattered crown there is this loot mastery sitting right here is this free for the taking let's just take this Oh my gosh, I just opened this chest and there's Bardic Inspiration sitting in here. Okay, well, we're definitely taking it. There are commissions. And commissions should be little jobs and tasks that the bards could get paid for by accepting and helping to build the reputation for the college. So what commission do we have in here? There's one in here now, commission. Marriage agreement, Carper, Gislaine. Let's read this. Commission. For the college's consideration, this is a formal request that the Bard's College assign any willing constituent to draw up a set of treaties to bind in imperial law the marriage of Remy's Carper and Ustash Gislaine. This marriage will be a symbol of the joining of our noble bloodlines into a powerful beacon of, dip of diplomatic power and influence in the regions. We would ask that the Bard College assist in the legal documentation of this union, and that you do so with impunity, lawful neutrality, and honorable candor. More intricate details of this arrangement, conflicts prior and settlements made, are in the documents accompanying this letter. Okay. This is pretty neat. So the first thing we have to do is go back to our author's workstation 
and we should now see the option to complete this commission. <gasps> yes, there it is. Okay. Marriage agreement. And it requires a roll of paper, which we have 23 of, ink. And it uses bardic inspiration, though. Oh, man. That's the only thing that kind of sucks. Because bardic inspiration is hard to find. But Marcus has been wanting to be part of this college since he was a little boy. And he's going to do everything he can to help build its reputation. So we're going to create it, for sure. Now we have to find the publishing station. Okay, so I just found the publisher's licensing desk. I basically just had to walk around the entire college and just check out every piece of furniture. And it's in a really weird place. It's in like the back, one of the back bedroom locations. But okay, here it is. So let's click on this. Oh, okay. So we can get 200 gold for having created the marriage agreement. Oh, so that's how this works. Speech increase to 39. I've never actually looked at a gold coin up close like this before. Pretty cool designs. That is actually not a bad way for these bards to make a little bit of pocket change. So between writing and selling their songs, poems, and books, and completing commissions for the college, the bard can make a little uh, decent living here. Marcus has decided that he's actually going to go see if he can try to make a little bit more money and see if there are any of the merchants in Solitude that might be interested in buying some of his songs. All right, let's try some of these uh, merchants at the stall. Oh, maybe her. Oh yeah, she likes Marcus. She gave him some free wine. Let's see if she'd be open to buying a song or two. Fingers crossed. Um, nope. <laughs> That's a no-go. She is not interested in Marcus's songs at all. <laughs> what about you? You look like you could Actually, do with a ripe a apple, or a tomato, cabbage, or, or leek. He's not having any luck so far. I mean, this merchant would rather buy ruined books from Marcus than one of his songs. <laughs> oh, man. Bits and pieces. Let's go try here. Would you be in the market for buying poems and songs today? Some might call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. <gasps> yes! She'll buy some of his songs! She'll buy all his songs, actually. All right, well, let's go ahead and sell that. We'll give her... She's not going to want two of one copy, so she'll take one Blood of My Enemy, she'll take the Endless Blue, and one Shattered Crown. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. His first sale! Well done, Marcus. Well, I'd say this has been an extremely successful day for Marcus. Not only did he complete another quest for the Bard's College, he completed a commission and sold some of his own original music and poems. I mean, I don't think it gets much better than that in a day's work for a Bard. So I think this is also a great place to leave things off for today. We're gonna let Marcus and Sven head over to the tavern have an ale or two, and see if his favorite bard is performing tonight. And just relax after a hard day like this. Restore what we <laughs> All own. right. With our blood and our steel, well, we will hope you enjoyed today's episode. I know I had a lot of fun. Don't forget to hit that like button if you did, friend. It does mean a lot to me, and it does help death, me out we will quite a bit. And we'll sing. All our lives. Let's leave and Marcus to admire his favorite bard in the tavern. Like always, thank you for we'll spending time with me today, and I will see you in the next video. Our hopes and our dreams.